Today we're going to talk about the Dentrix Treatment Planner layout. And what we use this for is creating treatment plans while we're in the operatory so that the treatment coordinator can have the information she needs to present the treatment to the patient. Now before we start we want to realize that there's three different treatment types that we want to address. First one being mandatory treatment that has to be done no matter what, such as an extraction of a hopeless tooth. Um, then we have things that are considered elective, which may not be necessary at this point in time. They may be waiting on it till the insurance renews, or maybe it's just cosmetic. We'll consider that elective. And then there's options that can be used to fix a problem that has more than one solution, meaning a missing tooth can be addressed by a dental implant, a partial, or a bridge. So for this patient today, we're going to pick an extraction on tooth number 10 because it fractured to the gum line, has to come out, mandatory, there's no alternatives to that particular treatment. So the tooth needs to come out. Now what we're going to do is figure out what are our options for replacing it, and this is where the alternate options come in, which would be the dental implant. and a three-unit bridge. So we have our mandatory and our alternate optional items, and we're also going to pick a crown on number seven as an elective item. So we're going to click on the all porcelain crown and treatment plan that. So as of right now, we have a mandatory, two that need to come out, the elective options, of the crown and the alternate options. So now it's all in one folder. This is considered our default folder. Now once it's in our default folder, it all shows up and it's all visible in one field. And you can see even down here, we're seeing duplicate replacement options. And we want the patient to pick one or the other, obviously. So first thing we're gonna do is rename the case. And we're going to rename it the master file. And I'm going to put in here do not delete. Now, what we want to do is open that up and we're going to set the order into stages of treatment. Now, the first stage is always anything that has to be done that is mandatory. In this case, the only mandatory thing that we've chosen is the extraction. So we can click move to visit one by right clicking, or we can create visit, and that will select visit one. Now visit two, we're going to do for everything that is not elective or anything in the middle, which means in this case, it's going to include the two alternate options. So we know that the elective is tooth number seven, so we're gonna click everything except for tooth number seven, move that to visit two, move the rest down to visit two, and then we will put the crown down to visit three. So there we go. Mandatory, optional alternatives, and elective treatment. So now what we want to do is give the patient the two options to choose from. And in order to do so, we're going to create two alternative cases. Now first we have to re we have to name the one of them. We'll call it the implant option or alternate case. And what we need to do now is unclick all the items we do not want to show up because they're not going to copy. So we don't want anything associated with the bridge to show up. So we're gonna delete anything that has to do with that bridge. Click OK. And we have the mandatory alternate options and the elective on the bottom. We're going to go back to the master file and do the same exact thing. 
create an alternate case, but we'll call this one the bridge. We're going to unclick anything unrelated to the bridge, which means anything implant related we're unchecking. That should be it. The elective item still stays. The mandatory item still stays. And we'll open that up to verify. One, two, and three show up again. Now, if you forget to number this first, you're going to have to go in and number each one individually. So by numbering everything in the master file before you create the alternative, these numbers automatically carry over. So it's much easier to do that first. So in this window now we can see that we have all the different options really du duplicated, meaning the bridge and the implant both show up. Now if we want that to not show up, there's two ways to do it. We can reject the treatment from here by updating the case status. And that would, if we accept this one, that would reject the other two, which means now only the implant would show up, everything else would disappear. If we reject one, then it would also disappear. Now we don't do that typically from this window because the patient has not discussed with the treatment coordinator the cost or time frame or any details at this point in time. So what we're going to instead do is we're going to set it as recommended. But before I do that, I just want to show that all of the active cases, if you double click, on the, on the active window, it will let you open up a procedure box, which you can click do not bill, treatment plan, primary insurance, change the codes, change the dates. You can even delete it from here. So it's an easy way that you don't have to go back and forth to the ledger to delete options. Now, once something has been rejected, you don't have the ability to go back to view the dates from this particular window on the bottom like you do here. So for now, we're going to set our implant to recommended and you'll see the bridge disappear. So the master file still there has not been rejected. The bridge is still there has not been rejected. Now these typically would get rejected by the treatment coordinator. Now if once they're rejected and I click this button, the rejected items will disappear. So just so we can see how that works, I'm going to reject the master because we don't really need it anymore anyway. It's still saved, but now I have the ability to hide it if I want. And that's how we do a treatment plan from the back. Uh, another thing I did want to show was the fact that things can be dragged. If you click on it, you can drag them around. You'll see that little square. So if you want to drag from one treatment plan to the other, you can do that. Um, if for by chance we forgot or we needed to update the case status to make it not rejected, we can go back into the update case status and change it back to created. If we realize that we did all this treatment and then realize we forgot the treatment plan a tooth, you can still treatment plan it. And we'll just say that this needs a crown. Now that is automatically going to show up into the default treatment plan. is up here, the default treatment plan. So you can see it did show up, but in a separate folder. And now what we would do is drag that into the folder we wanted to move to. From here, we can now set the order. And that's it. Now we got it.